Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you well and making the most of your day. If you are new here, I'm Christopher. And if you like planning, lifestyle, luxury, skincare, home decor, planning and organization, stop and look no further, my friends, because this channel will have something for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button. And while you are at it, if you're going to hang out with me here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to Instagram and hang out with me there as well. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. I would love to catch up and connect with you over there. I post over there daily and it's just a great way for us to get to know each other a little bit more. Today I'm bringing a really exciting plan with me video and it is about how I have set up my new 2018 My Infinite Agenda. I am really excited about this agenda and I won't lie, because of the way it is laid out I was a little nervous. However, I was able to really, really make it work with the use of some stencils that I received for Christmas this year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the plan with me along with seeing how I set this bad boy up. So let's go ahead and dive into my infinite agenda, how I set it up for 2018, and how I'm making the weekly spreads work for me with the help of a few stencils. Now, as always, it has that belongs to page, and I just simply wrote my name there. And then when you get into the planner, the first section you're going to get is manifest incredible changes in your life. Here it gives you a little bit of outline of how you're going to be using this planner, along with some really, really great tips and suggestions and just powerful messages messaging. I really, really enjoyed this. Then you get to start here. And that is where you get to start talking about gratitude, which is something that I think makes a positive impact in your life when you can consistently reflect and record all the things that you are grateful for. Because when you do, my friends, you realize you have a lot more going right than you have going wrong. In that section, I kept it really simple and I used this gray washi tape along with this orange washi tape. Oranges symbolize fresh starts and new beginnings, so I wanted to kind of stick with that because I thought it was very fitting for setting this up in 2018. Now you will see that I kept these sections pretty small. That was on purpose. I want to have lots of space as the year goes to continue to fill these up with maybe pictures and artifacts and things like that. So I wanted some negative space in order to be able to do that. As you go through, you continue to work within different questions around gratitude. Here I finally started to get brave and play with a couple different fonts, but once again, leaving myself some white space so I have like a place to almost scrapbook as the year goes. So this becomes more of an album and artifact of my year than just a regular planner. Now I did cover up this section as we get into what are my short-term goals because because some of them were private to me and I wanted to keep them that way. So here, once again, leaving lots of blank space, I thought this is where I could also put artifacts or pieces of evidence of me getting closer to those short-term goals. On the next section, I began playing with this idea of different fonts. Here I even did like a spiral pattern just to add a little bit more visual interest, but still kept with my very simple washi tape theme. Then you get into your long-term goals where you see yourself next year within five years and even further. So what I really appreciated was once again having a space to plan out those long-term goals. Then you get into your wildest dream section. This is where you can write down the craziest things that you could ever imagine happening in your life. I decided to leave this as more to come once again, giving my space because I do realize this is going to last me throughout 2018. This next section is all about your vision board. This then talks you through building your vision board and this is my vision board for 2018. 
I tend to use a lot more words in my vision boards than pictures. However, I did include a picture of Lady Gaga, which many of you might be asking why. It is not particularly because I'm a fan of her music, but what I am a huge fan of is her advocacy and voice, and that she uses her voice to speak out about things. And that is just a reminder of me around using my voice and my platform to make a difference in a positive way. This next section is your vision board continued, but I decided to do something a little different. So you see it says, for your home and talking fashion. This is where I'm going to put clippings and pictures and maybe paperclip articles of inspiration for both my home and my wardrobe. And I just want a place to document this. And this is the first planner that gives me that space to do it. I'm really, really excited. And I actually already have some clippings that I need to add. Then you get into your year at a glance. And then the next page is my monthly calendar for January. We're actually going to skip that only because I have some addresses and phone numbers and personal information on my monthly calendar um, that I need to keep private. So let's go ahead and go to my weekly spread. This is my setup weekly spread for the week of January 8th. When you look at this calendar, you will see that I use stencils to build out an organizational system because other than that it's just plain white boxes. I'm going to leave the stencils I use below and I'm completely obsessed with them. Now if you've watched any of my plan with me videos you know that I typically like like a 6 a.m. till 9 p.m. hourly stamp. What I'm finding with the stencils is I'm just plugging in the actual times that I have like a very important meeting. All the other little nuances of my day can be filled out later. I then make a section for my to-do list. I always have a weather box because I keep track of of the weather. And what I particularly love about this planner is that it has a place for what you are looking forward to. So the first thing I do in the morning when I sit down at my desk or I wake up and have my cup of coffee is I write down the things that I'm looking forward to. So I'm already projecting a positive start to my day. Then at the end of the day, I can write down what I am most grateful for for that specific day. These stencils were the game changer for me to use this planner. I knew I needed some sort of system and not just white empty space. And I'm finding that I'm really, really enjoying it. I can play with the color. I can play with the layout. And I also left just some clear space. So I still had places to jot things as the day went on that I needed to remember. Then you have your Friday and you have your weekend split in two. I'm finding them just filling in a to-do list for my weekend. What is really nice, because there is limited space within your days, there's a huge note page for every single week. What I'm really going to work with next week is sectioning this off into days so that I have a box designated for each day. I will definitely do another plan with me video or some sort of quick update on how that works for me. I also plan on giving you a walkthrough of what this looks like after a full week of life <laughs> taking place. I am really excited about this planner and I was really thrilled with how the first week went. The second week I've made some tweaks. The third week I will make some more and hopefully I find a really nice system that works for me within my infinite agenda. Like I said, those stencils I worked with will be linked down below as well as any washi tapes that you saw that I can still find because they're probably quite old. I hope that you enjoyed this plan with me video. If you did, I have a link down below as well as a 30% off discount code for you to get your own My Infinite Agenda. I hope that you will love it as much as I do. In the meantime, I'm going to leave this video like I leave all of them, my friends. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.